Hi everyone, we left Mexico City this week, but I was fortunate to meet an incredible person on the last day we were there. He is an artist, but I don't think he knows it. And uh, when I met him, I had a few questions that I never asked myself before. Like, why do we care so much about art? Why do we invest so much money and time into it? Why do we care so much about tradition and history? Like all those questions and I don't have the answers for that. But I know that art makes me feel good and, and it just makes me feel inspired. Mexico is very fortunate to have a very rich culture. A part of this comes from the ethnic groups that have been able to maintain their traditions and their art. One of these groups is the Huichol people. Some still consider them to be descendants of the Aztec. They fled to the mountains of Jalisco and Nayarit to escape the Spanish colonization back in the 1500s and they settled there ever since. Unfortunately, this is a very isolated area. So thousands of Huichols have been forced to leave their communities and move to big cities. What's alarming today is that they're being forced today to either continue to embrace their culture or let it get diluted due to urbanization. For the Huichols, the world has a sacred dimension which they can enter through their dreams. This sacred dimension and relationship with their lifestyle is what allows them to create their amazing art. Each piece is made from thousands of tiny beads to create these colorful patterns. Now let me introduce you to Huwen. I'm going to share with you some incredible art and one of my favorite pairs of shoes, which he makes. This is what we always do, every year that passes, we always do these things. My new friend is a young Wichol artist. He left his community when he was 18 to come to Mexico City. He told me the whole story about his family, culture and all his traditions. The sad thing is, who and like many others have had to leave their homes to find better opportunities. But Juve has taken a different approach. He's figured out how to earn a living while maintaining his traditions. With this, I want to show you one of the most beautiful pairs of shoes I've ever seen in my life. This is the Huichol Heels, and it's the result of a collaboration between Denise from Peyote and Pamperius, which is an organization that Huwen is a part of. When Huwen creates these pieces of art, he doesn't need to measure anything. He decorates the shoes and other objects by eye. Each pair of shoes takes thousands of beads and about four weeks to create. They say that the true witch hole artist only creates what he sees in his dreams. So here's where things get interesting. Each piece of art is the uh, physical representation of what they visualize in their dreams, which are induced by the consumption of peyote, which is their sacred cactus. Peyote is a powerful ancient hallucinogen, which is also known as a divine messenger. It's similar to ayahuasca, which is used in ceremonies by indigenous people around the Amazon basin. visits his family and community once a year to practice the rituals and ceremonies where they ingest peyote. The Wichol art is also called the Wiharika, or in more simple words, the art of dreaming to create. Thanks for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed and you have the opportunity to support our Wichol people. Next week, I'll be introducing you to a very inspiring female entrepreneur that I've become a very big fan of. So I hope you have a good weekend and I'll see you next Friday.
los cuatro elementos de la, de la cultura huichol, que es el venado, el peyote, el maíz, el águila. Uh -huh. 